I'm your host, human biologist Gary Brecka, and today we dive deep into one of the most intriguing substances of the world of functional medicine and biohacking. Imagine a substance so powerful, it could sharpen your mind, energize your cells, and maybe even help you live a longer life by giving life back to the oxygen contained inside of your cells. It's called methylene blue. At the core of its biohacking potential, methylene blue shows signs as a potent nootropic. Studies show it can cross the blood-brain barrier and enhance memory, focus, and even executive function. It's believed to do this by increasing Welcome to the Ultimate Human Podcast, where we explore the frontiers of biohacking and wellness and unveil the most cutting edge tools and practices to optimize your health and unleash your fullest potential. I'm your host, human biologist, Gary Brecka, and today we dive deep into one of the most intriguing substances of the world of functional medicine and biohacking. It's called methylene blue. Methylene blue is actually FDA approved to treat a condition called methemoglobinemia. And methemoglobinemia is a type of blood disorder, but it's sometimes used off-label for other reasons. Methylene blue has certain risks, so keep in mind, always seek the advice of a licensed physician before you consider using methylene blue, and since I'm not a licensed physician, please do not accept this video as medical advice. Remember, you should avoid methylene blue if you take serotonin-raising medications or if you have something called G6PD, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. People that have this condition generally know that they have it. This vibrant compound, known for its strike blue hue holds a treasure trove of benefits for cognitive enhancement, mitochondrial health, and recently indications in longevity. Methylene blue is a salt. It's actually used as a dye and also as a medication. As a medication, as I stated earlier, it's mainly used to treat methemoglobinemia by chemically reducing something called ferric iron in the hemoglobin, which is inside of your red blood cell, to a different state called ferrous iron. It's reduced state. So what, what does that mean? <laughs> what this means is that a methylene blue works by helping convert the red blood cells into a form that will properly carry and release oxygen. So in other words, it turns oxygen-containing red blood cells back into their normal state. So join me as we unravel the science, the benefits, and how to harness the power of methylene blue safely and effectively. Imagine a substance so powerful, it could sharpen your mind, energize your cells, and maybe even help you live a longer life by giving life back to the oxygen contained inside of your cells. The red blood cell sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, right? But it's real. So let's take a deep dive into the fascinating history behind this. Methylene blue, a thiazine dye, was first synthesized in 1876 by Hendrik Caro. It quickly found its place in medicine as the first synthetic drug used in history. Initially, it was deployed to treat malaria, and over the decades, its application expanded into the fields of psychiatry, neurology, even as a dye in biology and chemistry looking for different states inside of our cells. But it's the recent interest in its biohacking potential that's propelled methylene blue into the spotlight. Why methylene blue? At the core of its biohacking potential, methylene blue shows signs as a potent nootropic. Studies show it can cross the blood-brain barrier and enhance memory, focus, and even executive function. It's believed to do this by increasing mitochondrial efficiency, powerhouse of our cells, and promoting the production of ATP. That's the energy currency of our cells. Remember, we're not powered by the food we eat, the water we drink, or the air we breathe. We are powered by one singular energy source called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So this is crucial as improved mitochondrial function is directly linked to enhanced brain health and cognitive performance. So many of us are looking for that little cognitive edge to get through our day. Methylene blue also shows promise as a powerful antioxidant, scavenging harmful free radicals, and reducing oxidative stress, which is a key factor in aging and many, many diseases. It's an anti-inflammatory. Its anti-inflammatory effects further protect us against cellular damage, which supports overall cellular health. And lastly, perhaps its most groundbreaking property lies in its potential ability to significantly impact our mitochondrial health. A lot of the current anti-aging longevity research to surmise is an improvement in the function of our mitochondria. So methylene blue optimizes mitochondrial function, which not only boosts energy levels, but may also extend lifespan by ensuring our cells longevity and resilience. To reap the benefits of methylene blue, it's crucial to understand how to incorporate it effectively. It's definitely not something that you want to go out and try on your own. You want the guidance of a properly licensed physician with experience using methylene blue. And these are 
found in all kinds of functional medicine clinics around the country. The recommended dose usually starts typically very, very low, often around one milligram of methylene blue per kilogram of body weight to gauge patient's tolerance. It's available in various forms, including oral supplements and topical applications, each serving different purposes. I took my methylene blue today, as you can see from the color of my tongue. For cognitive and mitochondrial benefits, oral supplementation is most common. That's the form that I use. I use it in a droplet form overseen by our medical director, Dr. Sarda. However, always start with the lowest possible dose and consult with a healthcare provider, especially if you're taking other medications to avoid possible interactions. While methylene blue is promising, it's not without risks. It can interact with certain medications, particularly those that influence serotonin levels like SSRIs and other medications for psychiatric health. And this poses a risk of serotonin syndrome. So additionally, due to its potency, the quality of methylene blue is paramount. Only pharmaceutical grade methylene blue should be used as lower quality versions may contain a lot of impurities, which will harm our health. Emerging research continues to highlight the potential of methylene blue. Recent studies suggest its role in neuroprotection, showing its ability to preserve neurological function and protect against neurodegenerative diseases. Its antimicrobial properties are also gaining attention, offering a potential avenue for treating antibiotics resistant infections such as Lyme disease. However, more research is needed to fully understand its mechanisms and long-term implications. Methylene blue stands at the frontier of biohacking and functional medicine. It offers us a multifaceted approach to enhancing cognitive function, mitochondrial health, and potentially our overall wellness. As we continue to explore its potential, it represents not just a substance of interest, but a symbol of the broader quest for optimal health and longevity. In the journey become the ultimate human, methylene blue just may be one of the keys to unlocking our full potential. Remember, the path to wellness is both personal and complex. Methylene Blue offers exciting possibilities, but it's essential to approach its use with care, informed by science, and guided by the principles of safety and individual health goals. Thank you for joining me into this deep dive into Methylene Blue, and until next time, keep pushing the boundaries of what it means to live optimally, and that, folks, is just science.